Yeah, yeah, yeah. See my whole team and you know where to find us. Yeah, you know where to find me. Hey, I'm drowning in grace. Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you how I get my skin this glowy and healthy. Hi again. <laughs> so today's video is about my skin, my skincare, my simple, very simple skincare. Just the updated version. Anyway, I have to put my hair up. And look how long my twists have gotten, like they look so cute. Subscribe to my channel for more tips. Okay, that part is sticking out, but wow. <laughs> Hang time. Anyway, back to the skin. This is what I do. Keep watching. I don't know about you, but some of us have like tiny little hairs on the mustache area, and that's gotta go. I do this once a month. So I found this tool. I'll use it to just gently trim off the hair so it can be smooth. To remove the tiny hairs on my upper lip and on the corners of my lips, I gently stroke the razor downwards. You definitely don't want to press the razor too hard, just so that you don't cut yourself. And now the upper lip is smooth and looks much better. Facial hair is normal, this is just what I like to do. I know it's not super clear but the tiny hairs all came out now the upper lip is smooth on to the next part now so now it's time to wash my face Yay. and I'll start by wetting it completely I just like doing this before washing I stopped using Dettol soap for my face I'm currently using the Dove Fresh Touch Gentle Cleanser this one has cucumber in it. In November last year, I decided to switch soaps to one that's more gentle for my face. Dove is a company that's cruelty free. All their products are dermatologist tested and approved. This is how the bar soap looks like and it forms a really good lather between the hands when you put just a little water. You can alternatively use a face brush if that's what you prefer. First, I sort of like to apply the lather on my skin, like all over my face, of course, except the eyes. Next, I like to wash my face in circular motions, very gently, using the fingertips, like the pads of my fingers, and not my nails, because that will just be painful and damaging, and there's no need to do that, because who does that? I actually read somewhere that you're supposed to wash your face for at least two to three minutes. That way it's super clean, like properly clean. I rinse my face with lukewarm water and my skin just felt so soft and clean. So I typically don't dry my face completely, I just use a wet washcloth and I lightly dab on my face to absorb the excess water and leave some of the water like half and half. And this is the big reveal, my skin without anything on it, no product, nothing. And I'm just grateful to God for healthy skin. This is a close up and like I said, I leave a little moisture on my skin. Now it's time to moisturize my face. I discovered this product that has 99% aloe vera. I've just really been searching for plant-based products that are more gentle for my skin. It has no fragrance and it's a very clear gel. I just like to use a very small amount, like this much, very little. Rub it lightly between my fingers and I just start to apply on my bare skin. I've used this product for about 7 months and I really like it. The product definitely has a gel-like consistency. It leaves my skin moisturized and glowy and refreshed. When I first tried it, I did a patch test just to make sure it will work for my sensitive skin. I look so beautiful and glowy. This is a close-up of how my skin looks after applying the aloe vera gel. It's so glowy and smooth. I'm so happy. <laughs> Side note, I'm so happy I stopped tweezing my eyebrows because they look so full and pretty. And then I just do this because I've seen people do it and it works, it feels nice. So 
so just as you saw in my previous skincare routine video i like to apply a light natural essential oil and i like to use eucalyptus oil because it's so gentle for my skin so after a quick little dancey dance to make sure that the aloe vera has dried like up to like 70 percent i put just a small amount of the eucalyptus oil it spreads lightly and smooth between the palms of my hands as you can see I avoid smearing the oil on my face and instead I just pat on top of my moisturized face. Then of course I'll put some on my lips and on my neck because why not? My skin feels so refreshed and glowy and I do this routine every morning and evening minus the shaving because as I mentioned I only do that once a month. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like, also leave a comment if you have any questions about this particular routine of mine. Don't forget to drink your water. Drink your water, like every single day, drink your water. Stay hydrated, okay? It's very important. Subscribe if you haven't already and watch my other videos when you're free. Yeah, so I'll see you in my next video.